So is there a difference between working out and starting and growing your business? Of course, there's gonna be differences. One is for your health, the other one is making money and growing a business. But there are a lot of similarities between the two. I was thinking about when I, well, I get a lot of questions like, hey, how long have you been working out? Hey, what are your PRs? Hey, how much do you weigh? Hey, what's your workout program? Hey, how much do you, what do you eat? So there's a lot of similarities between working out and growing your business. So throughout this workout, I'll be touching on some points or giving you some lessons when you're growing your business. Because let me tell you, it's not gonna be some glamorous, oh my God, every week I'm making the most money. There's gonna be your highs, there's gonna be your lows, but there's gonna be a lot more lows, a lot more, hmm, should I continue to do this? More so than, hey, we just made $1,000 this day. Because let me tell you, over the last 10 years, there's definitely been days where I'm like, you know what? This whole detailing thing is just not it. You know what, is it, does it really make sense for me to be out there for 12 hours to make that much money? Or I'm just like burnt out, tired, and I'm like, man, like this, just, this is a lot of, of work to keep this going. So there's been plenty of times, not plenty, but there have been those thoughts where I was like, man, I don't know if I wanna keep on doing this. I don't know if this is like the thing I wanna keep on doing for the next 20 years. I don't know if I wanna do this for the next five years. So you're gonna, like, over, the, over 10 years span, you're gonna have some thought. You're gonna have those dark days where you're like, man, this, is this really worth it? Am I, am I really cut out for it? Should I continue this? So in this video, I'll be giving you some lessons based on workouts or working out that you can apply into your business. All right, look, is that a lot of weight? No, now I can probably do that at 130. But when I first started working out so many years ago, right? Doing 40 pounds for reps was a lot. That's all I could do at the time. Why? Because I was just getting started with working out. My muscles had not developed. My, 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 um, my skills, my experience as a lifter was not there yet. So same thing with your business. Don't think that you're gonna just come out the gate and you're gonna finish an interior clean or you're gonna finish a premium, a premium wash, or you're gonna finish whatever service that you're doing in record time. It's gonna take you much longer in the beginning to do the same service as I do because you're just getting started, right? You doing a wash and wax on a Mazda 3 will take you six hours because you're just getting started. You don't know the ropes. You don't have the experience. You don't have that repetition in you. Whereas with me or us, we can do it in 45 minutes, in two hours. Why? Because we have the repetition. We have the system. We have the process. We have everything that we need alongside with all that experience to say, hey, look, we know exactly what to do, how to do it, what not to do, what to use, when to use, how to use it. So you're gonna take six hours, we might take two hours, we might take an hour, we might take 45 minutes. So yeah, when you first get started, you're not gonna be comparing yourself to the people that have been lifting for seven plus years. They can lift however much, but you're just getting started. Don't, look, a good rule of thumb in the gym is have no ego. Don't be ego lifting. If, if you can't do the weight with proper form, proper technique, it's too heavy for you. Same thing with your detailing. If, if, if you're trying to do like the other bigger guys that's been more established, that have that experience, it's gonna work against you. It's not gonna be productive or efficient to try to match up to the bigger guys because you're just getting started. It's okay. No one's judging you. Work at your own pace. Now you might be thinking, right? You go to the gym and you're like, oh, well, I wish I could, I, I wish I could uh, lift that much weight. I wish I could look that good in a shirt, right? Now, going back to the first point, the person that you're looking at has what? Five years of working out, seven years of working out, 10 years of working out, while you're still barely in your fourth month of working out. So the consistency part of it, right? Because they've been coming day after day, week after week, year after year for let's say three years, seven years, 10 years, they have a much bigger advantage over you simply due to the fact that they've been coming more often. 
So the more repetition that you can get, right, that you're, that you're out there working on your business, servicing vehicles, but also it's that duration of time. It's again, you really don't wanna have any ego. You don't wanna look at another detailer, someone else that's lifting and say, man, why can't I be like that yet? Why is it taking me so, dude, it's time. It's gonna take, whatever you're doing to get better at working on a vehicle, to, to, to get more customers, to, to raise your prices, to, to do whatever it is that you're gonna do, it's gonna take consistency. It's gonna take a longer duration of time than what you expect. So you can't look at, you know, Mr. whatever car wash over there and be like, man, why are they able to charge so much uh, compared to me? Dude, you've been in business for six months, for a year. Your marketing sucks. You're still learning how to detail. You're still slow. You're still not confident in selling your services. Like, so many things you're lacking, yet you're trying to compare yourself to someone that's been in the game for however many years. It's not gonna work out in your favor. So now you might be thinking, well look, I know of a guy that just started working out and he's been working out for six months and he's already bigger, he's stronger and he's not as consistent as I am. I'm way more strict to my schedule, to my workout regimen, to my diet. So why is he bigger than me? Why is he getting faster results? Okay, look, here's why you don't wanna pay attention to social media again. You don't know what that other detailer, what that business is doing behind the scenes. Meaning you might say, wow, I, He's posting on Instagram, I'm posting on Instagram, why am I not getting the same results? Okay, well, the guy you're looking at, all right, he's on trend, all right? He's taking some type of anabolic steroids, and you have no idea, so you're like, man, why is he able to grow so much faster than me? What's the difference? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes, right? You're looking at another detailer, and you're like, wow, they're, they're so successful, they have, they have a shop now, they have a van, all right? It might be one day where, where they don't have any customers, and they might have employees, they might have, like, what, they might be claiming they're making this much, but look, there's probably days where they're not making money. Do you see that part of the, of the business? No, you're only seeing the good parts. You're only seeing the parts that's a highlight of, of their business for the day or for the week. So you don't know what's going on behind the scenes of a business. So if you try to make a judgment call of like, okay, well, they're growing at this speed and they're doing X, Y, Z. Well, I guess if I do that, I should be growing then, right? No, you don't know what they're, what, like, what they're doing is working. You don't know if, like, you see them posting on social media, right? Like on Instagram. Is that actually bringing them customers? Is it? You see them with a website. Is a website bringing them customers? Like, do you for sure know that? Are, are they running, is their ads working? Right, so you just don't see what they're doing and be like, yeah, that, yeah that, that's definitely working over there. That, that's what they're doing to grow their business. You don't know that. You don't know if they're making money. You don't know if they're profitable. You don't know if, they're, if the team members that are working there like enjoy their job. You don't know anything behind the scenes, you only see what you see online. And that's usually a completely different story than the back end. So don't look at others and be like, don't compare yourself to others, you know what I'm saying? Do not compare yourself to others because everyone is on their own path and what you're doing is gonna work differently than what that person is doing. And even though you see that person doing one thing, doesn't necessarily mean that's what they're doing to grow their business or that they're getting any results from it. Or you might be thinking, well, if I wanna grow my business, I probably have to do so many, I have to work on this website and get this business cards, get my logo, file for a, file an LLC, and do all these crazy things. But just like working out, it's only but a few things you really have to focus on to get maximum results, right? What's that gonna be? Consistency in working out and your diet. 
those two main things, right? Consistency in your workout, diet, you can add other things like sleep, height, yes. But the main thing is if you're working out consistently and your diet is at least halfway on point, you'll see a lot of progress. It's the same thing with your business. You don't have to do these 10 different things at one time in order to get the results that you want. No, it's, it's really focusing on just a few key things to see your business grow. What's that gonna be? Your operations, right? Knowing, knowing how to detail customer service, and then marketing, getting customers into your business. You focus on those two things and everything else falls into place. But if you start focusing on the wrong things, like who, you know what, I, I really need to spend $400 on my logo. Oh, you know what, I, I, I cannot start my business until, you know, I have my website polished and perfect online. So you have to focus on the proper things in order to grow your business, right? If you, if you jump from, from, from diet to diet, and you know what, it's because I'm not doing this workout or that workout, or, or you know what, I'm focusing too much on legs. I'm not, if you get that minute, you're not gonna see progress in the gym, or at least you will, but nowhere near the speed that you want to. Same thing in your business. You start focusing on all these little details that don't really contribute, not don't really, they don't contribute to the growth of your business. So in business, hey, what are the key things what are the two or three things I have to do in order to see my business grow? It's not all these little 10 different things. It's, it's two or three things that you have to dial in, dial in to get the most results. So that's gonna conclude this video. Now it's funny because like working out business, what does that have to do with each other? But quite a bit actually, not so much again, as far as like, yeah, in working out you have to learn marketing, no. But I'm saying there's a lot of principles that are interchangeable and not just with working out. It's anything that you wanna get good at, anything that takes time, anything that requires a high output of energy and time, it's gonna require the same principles. I don't care if you're trying to learn how to dress, try to learn how to draw, if you're trying to learn how to cut hair, it's gonna be the same principles between everyone, between everything. So I just wanna make this fun video, hey, a little fun of like, just mixing those two together. Plus a lot of you ask for like workouts and stuff. And I was like, man, most people don't wanna see me work out on the Detail Groove channel. It's only like a like 0.5% that's like, hey, like, what's your workout regimen or whatever. So I figured I'd just kinda mix it in in this one instead of just talking about it. And it was a light workout, like we didn't, I didn't do anything heavy. Um, so anyways, I'll end it right here. Um, Check the description box down below for the ultimate guide to start your detailing business, the link or the to find my podcast, the Detailing Business Class Podcast, which is on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all the major streaming apps. And you can look at any other links that I have down there below. All right, I will talk to everyone on the next one.